I'm the Soviet clone of the TI-80 whatever, or like a very, very primitive one-line, you know, graphing, non-graphing programmable calculator. I was playing with it and up until that point it was all like, you can just automate the 5 plus 5 or, you know, whatever. And I like to write little cutesy programs and we do this. And then at some point I realized there's this key called K, which is the first letter of the Russian word for indirect. Mm -hmm. And you use the key to say, take whatever is in that register, whatever is stored under that variable, and do whatever it is you want to do next with that. Mm -hmm. And this notion of like, you can refer to things you don't know about and do mathematical operations on them. And a machine will perform things, you can tell a machine to do things in the future that you're only going to know about later on, mm -hmm. was this profound relation, like from now on, I don't have to know everything to get stuff done. I can just start writing it down <laughs> and it'll happen on its own later. Mm -hmm. And I was like, this is like the most amazing thing ever. And um, that was basically it. Like I, I was never gonna be a teacher again. I was just gonna do it all myself. But uh, the other cool thing that was happening, I think you know this one, I never had really access to a computer until much, much later. So vast majority of my programming from the age of whenever that began till about 16 was done on notepads. So I just would sit in a park and write programs which sometimes would span several notepads. So I, I developed many games including my personal clone of um, Tetris, my personal clone of Snake, entirely on paper. And uh, I'm, I have no idea whether they execute or not because I've never actually oh. been able to run them. <laughs> There's no computers that can read my handwriting. But, uh, <laughs> but I, I've successfully uh, constructed, and I, I would write it, and then I could do it more efficiently, refactor my code, rewrite it all on paper, it was really mm -hmm. great. Then I would lose the notepad and be like, oh my god, my code's been lost. Like all these, like, like no backup, my notebook is lost. <laughs> and it's very funny now, back then it was horrible. Like one time I left my notebook on the bench in a park and I had to go back to get my code. And my mom was like, what are you talking about? You <laughs> I thought, no, it's, it's real. Anyway. Did, did part of that make you the kind of programmer you are? I mean, did it make you more efficient with code? Did it make you, I, I don't know, in some ways, uh, you know, more into the challenge of writing it versus seeing the result? Do you, think, do you think it affected you in ways that someone who doesn't learn to program that way? I think so. I, my sort of standard self-definition as a programmer had always been, I started with these decrepit computers where the most efficient way or the, the most reasonable way to write code, let alone interesting was to write assembly. Mm -hmm. So I never learned basic, I never learned C, Pascal, like all the high level languages came into my life way after and they all seemed, always seemed like a luxury. On the other hand, I knew the machine code for the TI clone for the Robotron ZX, which was the Z80 clone. I dabbled in the DBK assembly, which was the uh, uh, reduced instruction chipset that came with the PEP clone. So just this like, no easy way, no shortcuts. It was never, there was not an option to just like, screw it, you know, let, let's write a go-to statement. It was all very, very explicit, very procedural programming in various different assembly languages. And so, probably made me slightly more elitist, but certainly made me very tenacious as a developer. Like I, I, I never really had an option to, uh, Take to the take, take, take the easy way out, I guess. There was no, whatever way I was doing was like always packed into 64 bit programs yeah. or 64 byte memory. Uh, back then we had to walk to school in snow, <laughs> knee deep. Did that make really you, I know, we'll just figure it out. It's our first time here, <laughs> we're just playing. Um, did that make you a more insufferable boss as a CTO? Probably, most likely. <laughs> Step aside, I'll just do it myself. <laughs> Never said that.